This video will show how to operate the electroanalyzer. This is the reagent with the machine, and we can check the lot number at the bottom of the bottle. And the the uh, the warranty period of the reagent is two years uh, before opening. But if the it is opened, uh, the the warranty is one month. So we need to use a pen to note down the uh, the open date on the bottle. It will be obvious for the end u users. So this one is already invalid. Let's take this one. Uh, this is I opened today, and use a small container like the bullet tube or others others to take some solution for later use. This is the main menu of the electroanalyzer. It shows most common operations you need. The first one is uh, sample analysis. And users need it most to do the test for the patients. And when you the feel the result is not good, you need to do the calibration. And uh, sometimes you need to do the quality control to make the machine is a cracked and this here is you can do the uh, one point corrections I uh, will show you later and uh, this is uh, the correction factors sometimes we need to fix back this infer and here is a system setting here you can do settings like date and time printers calibrations frequency and here is uh, maintenance. Maintenance, there are uh, options you need. The first one is uh, deproteinize. Uh, the second one is activation, activated the electrodes. Sometimes when you want to shut down the machine, you need to flush it first. And when the region run out, you need to do replace reagent pack uh, if you need other uh, you need to go to the other services and go to advanced setup then you can get into the settings after calibration it will enter into the main menu then we can do a simple analysis uh, just press here uh, here we use the QC solution as a sample to do the demo so press the uh, sample analysis and this is the start ID and press test just to wait
Now let's show you the one point correction. Here we still use the QC solution. And here we press the QC analysis and go into correction. Then we, uh, this is for electrodes, so we select RSE and for one point correction. And here are the targets, target value of the uh, QC solution. So uh, this is the, the values I already imported. So uh, okay, now we press test. When we get the, this message, then we feed the QC solution uh, to the sample probe. Then press OK. Close the flask. Then it will do the uh, correcting automatically. So we need to wait. Here shows the uh, correction factors we got for each parameters. Then we press OK. Then uh, we can use uh, the rest of the solutions to do to run it as a sample to do the sample anal analysis to check the stability. We press sample analysis, press test, then feed the. Mm, we feed the sample to the sample probe as the message prompt. Then close it. Wait for. It will show the uh, the result of the concentration for each parameters in the solution. So it is the same uh, as we tested the patient sample, but the patient is the, the real serum sample. Here we just uh, use it to test the uh, stability. So we use the same sample to uh, same solution to test several times. Now this one is finished. And here we can do the, the second one. The same the same procedure. Here finish another one. After the correction I did three times. Uh, now we can tear it down. After that, we after the correcting, I s start from here. Uh, so we use a pencil to note down the numbers. And uh, these three are the same solution. Then we can note note them down and uh, use a calculator to calculate the mean value, uh, SD and the CV to. Uh, check the stability of the machine.